Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 204, Shock Tai Yi and the few did not think that Shen Miao would become silly at such a critical timing. Even though Feng Zhuang was not far from Long Yi, a trip to and fro on a fast horse would take two days, even without any other changes during the journey. The most important thing was that superior one in that legend, other than the Jiao resident siblings recount, no one had seen him before. One did not know if these was real or not and it was too irrational and naive for Shen Miao to search for a person that one did not know if he existed. But Shen Miao seemed to be fixated on it and instructed Tang Shu what to do for the next few days before bringing Lu Tan out. Before leave, she even instructed again that the matter of her and Lu Tan leaving could not be divulged. After disguising, she then brought Ba Zhao, who is Xiang. Mo King and Kong Yang on the road with Lu Dan. Because all of them wore clothes from ordinary people, no one was able to recognize them. The residents of Prince Ruai had always been good with disguises. Even though Tai Yu was somewhat worried, when Shen Miao was determined, even Shen Kaiyu would not dare to stop her, much less these servants. Watching Shen Miao's departing figure, Tang Shu asked, Can Furin find the person? Tai Yu shook his head. It is better to have a heart than unable to manage one's mind. At least one is a person who value relationships. He then turned his head and instructed the rest, the matter of Furin leaving the residence must be concealed well. If it leaks, you will bear the consequences. In the horse carriage, Lu Tan looked at Shen Miao and said, Youngest Biao sister, why don't you sleep for a while? These few days you have not rested well and since there would be no stop in this journey, it is better for you to rest a while. Shen Miao's heart was somewhat chaotic. The carriage was bumpy and even though she had no mood to rest, what Lu Tan said made sense. If she did not rest well then it would be bad if matters later would be delayed. Thus she closed her eyes for a while for a nap. She did not know why but this nap was especially long. Shen Miao left in the afternoon but she was awakened by someone else. When she opened her eyes, she saw Lu Tan staring at her. Youngest Biao sister, wake up. We have arrived. Shen Miao followed Lu Tan off the carriage and it was almost evening of the second day. The horse carriage stopped at a desolated area and one was not sure if there was no one taking care that the branches were so dense that it almost obscured the skies. Even it was in the evening, with the weather in the sixth month, there would be sunlight but it was so dark that there was no heat at all. It made one feel as strangely fearful. Mo King and Kong Yang also frowned. Kong Yang said, What kind of ghostly place is this? There is no one around at all. One heard that this was previously an embroidery village and they were best in embroidering a type of phoenix pattern but afterwards the embroidery village fell and it was abandoned. Ba Zhao was one who would always inquire about things so she immediately explained. Lu Tan looked around and took out the map that was sewn on the handkerchief. This map indicated that there should be a small path here but there is no such path. Everyone came over to take a look. Indeed, the map clearly indicated that there was a small path in front of Feng Zhuang and by following the small path, there would be a field and a house. Much less mentioned about the house and field. There were no signs of the small path at all. How can there not be even a single person? It seemed that no one came here for a long time. Lu Tan said, could it be that the grass few tall and blocked the path so we could not see it? Mo King and Kong Yang looked around and shook their head, it would not be so. Ba Zhao and Hua Xiang took a look. Hua Xiang said, this forest is just too big. Afterwards when the sun sets, it would be easy to get lost in the forest and perhaps there are wild beasts. We are also not familiar with the roads here. Furen, what do you think? The most important thing for them, as servants, was to ensure the safety of Shen Miao. Even if one was unable to find the superior one who could change fates, Shen Miao could not fall into danger. The Moyun army was good in dealing with enemies but they were not good in walking in this unfamiliar dark forest at night. Actually Hua Xiang and the rest did not care much about the superior one that Lu Tan mentioned. To their perspective, 
Lu Tan was too curious and overly naive thus everyone's heart did not move much. It was only Mo King who listened to Shen Miao's orders unquestioning. Who is Xiang and the rest did not understand Shen Miao but Mo King followed Shen Miao from the beginning. When in Mingqi, Shen Miao's situation was even more precarious but she could walk out of such a difficult situation. Every decision that Shen Miao made had a special role in the future so Mo King had never doubted it at all. Shen Miao looked at the map and asked Lu Tan, from what Ben Yu said, after that pair of siblings enter Feng Zhuang, they kept going southwards, correct? Lu Tan said. Yes, but she also said that there is a small path at the south side and that path heads southwards. There is no path here. Let's go. Shin Miao said. Everyone was startled and Kong Ying asked, Furen, where are we going? Shen Miao gestured for Lu Tan to take the compass out and said, walk towards the south. But there is no path at all. Hua Xiang was extremely surprised. If it is an incorrect road then isn't the beginning wrong? Shen Miao took a glance at Hua Xiang, since we are already here and cannot differentiate which route is right or wrong, then just try it. There is a direction towards it. Since that pair of siblings mentioned to keep heading south, the direction is consistent. No matter where the path is, the very most we can search all directions for it. If there is no other ways, trying is also a method. She took the compass and started walking forward. Everyone remained stunned for a moment before Lu Tan said, Youngest Biao sister, wait for me. Ba Zhao was at all smiles, let's quickly catch up. The few of them followed. The sun was almost setting and this forest became dark and dim due to the dense foliage. After the sun set, it was pitch dark. Fortunately Kong Ying had brought along enough torch and they could continue forward after they were lit. It just that in the entire journey, the branches were all the same and at the end, one was unable to differentiate the scenes before and after and everything seemed to look the same. Because it was so cold, that it did not seem to be in the sixth month. It was still alright for Mo King and Kong Yang but the females felt somewhat chilly. Shen Miao and the few of them had brought along cloaks and at this moment, they could not help but tighten their hold of them. Vaguely, there were some wild beast sounds. Mo King, Kong Yang and the rest stopped and their hands slowly went to their swords on their waist. Hu Xiang said softly and lowly, it's sound of wolves. There are actually wolves here. Wolves is afraid of fire. Shen Miao said, everyone should hold two lit fire torches. Wolves are a very cunning beast. If there are packs of wolves in the forest then when they see so much fire, they would think that we have many people and dared not come close. Hua Xiang was startled and even Ba Zhao's round face revealed a surprised look. Furen, you even know the methods to deal with wolves? Mo Yun army contained people from the pugilist world, it was not strange for one to know about it but Shen Miao was a young lady of an official family, so it was just too unusual for her to know about these matters. Even if the Shen family was of military lineage, these actions were just overly familiar. It instead seemed that she was from a veteran hunting family. Shen Miao smiled, one only heard it from others. At the beginning when Wan Yu had to marry the Zhong Nu, one heard that there were many packs of wolves at the Zhong Nu's side thus Shen Miao became worried and searched of ways to chase away wolves for Wan Yun. She had thought to let Wan Yu try them in the future but it was just unfortunate. A flash of pain appeared in her eyes and when Shen Miao looked up again, it became calm as she said, continue heading forward. Still head forward? Hua Xiang said, Furen, we have walked for a few shishin, one shishin equals two hours. Did you not realize that we are going rounds on the same spot and have not went forward? Just one we have walked on that path for a few times and if this continues, one fear that one will not be able to walk to the end in the entire night. Kong Yang also said, correct, Furen, even if one were to continue walking, one cannot just walk on aimlessly, otherwise it can be said that we are making a mistake after another mistake. Shin Miao sighed for a moment and looked towards Lu Tan. The compass kept on pointing south. Lu Tan nodded her head quickly. Yes, we are definitely not walking in the wrong direction but this scene seemed familiar. It is obviously not the wrong direction but the scene is exactly the same. This is even stranger. Shin Miao said, 
If something was abnormal then it must be demonic, if one walks the incorrect route then we can just turn around the same way and would still be trapped and unable to get out. It is better to continue walking on. But what you said is correct, what was seen was the exact same scene and even the trees look the same thus it inevitably misled people. If it was truly the same then it would make one suspicious but if it is fake, it only served to confuse. She took out a handkerchief from her sleeves and made Lu Tan take another out one. She covered her eyes with the handkerchief and said, How about this? In order not to let one eyes be misled, one would not see anything and follow the compass and see where would one walk to. I and older Biao sister will cover our eyes while Ba Zhao and Hua Xiang watch the compass in front while Kong Ying and the rest follow behind. We will try it this way. Mo King was somewhat hesitant. Furen, really do it like this. I know what you all want to say. Shen Miao covered her eyes but her tone was unquestionable. Honestly speaking, I too do not know what result would there be to carry on walking like this but Xi Jingxing do not have that much time. One more step we take mean an additional one more possibility. If we do not even walk, then there would no change in the result. Yes, yes, yes. Lu Tan quickly said, no matter what. One have to try it out. It is useless to speak about it thousands of times. It is actually more practical to do it oneself. Who is Xiang was somewhat surprised. She felt that she really did not understand this Furen. At the beginning when she married over to the residence of Prince Ruai, the subordinates of Mo Yun army also secretly took a peek and felt that this Furen had a calm and steady temperament and was not that enthusiastic towards Master. But one could not say that she was unfeeling as she could take a risk of entering and walking for an entire night in this pitch dark forest for Master. She looked like an intelligent person and could analyze the pros and cons sensibly but this time was naive enough to believe the legend of changing fate and even use such a stupid method. Who is she? Yang could not understand Shen Miao's contradictory actions but it was not as complicated as she had imagined it to be. At critical juncture, people would unconsciously expose their true self and during urgency, one would not be guided by rationality or intelligence but by instinct. At this moment, wisdom could not compete with the current urgent feeling. Mo King silently followed behind Shen Miao and walked forward. Hu Xiang and the few paused and finally did not say anything more and continued following. These matters in Feng Zhuang were not known to the people in Long Yi. The officials only knew that Prince Ruai was injured during the hunt but no one knew how the injuries were like and naturally no one dared to ask. Zi Yuan's position in Long Yi's court was very special. Some people wholeheartedly wish for his death while others had bet their whole family lives on him and were praying that nothing happened to him. No matter how much doubt everyone had in their hearts, the residence of Prince Rui was like a metal bucket, not a glimpse of wind was revealed. Seeing that one did not know of the situation, everyone was unable to sleep due to the itch in one's heart but nothing could be inquired. Those who were restless, continued to be restless. Those who were rejoicing at the misfortune, continued to rejoice. No one was able to help the other. In the Lu residence, Lu Er was walking back and forth in the room, speaking coquettishly to Lu Furen, Mother, I want to take a look at His Highness. One does not know how his injuries are. What if the injury is serious? Lu Furen consoled her. How can it be serious? If it is serious, then one would definitely look around for doctors. Currently there is no information from the Prince residence at all. So one thinks that it is all right. So why do you need to join the bustle? But my heart is very restless. Luan Er said, it is all that Shen Mi out to blame. She is indeed a misfortune star. She just married over and his highness the prince of first rank fell into such misfortune. She is one who curse one's husband and it is better to divorce her earlier. If one were to keep on be entangled with her then his highness would have more misfortune. Lu Furen smiled and said, Yes, 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 but currently you cannot go over. After Prince Rui's health recovers a little, just let your oldest sister to think of a way to let both of you meet. One cannot seek for trouble at this moment. Lai Waner said unhappily, Mother cannot deceive me. After Lu Waner left, Lu Furen's smile sank and she instructed the maid by her side, Watch after young lady carefully and do not let her out the door these few days. If master's plans are disrupted, I will hold you all accountable.
When she spoke at the end, her tone became harsh and her expression was ruthless, exactly like the fierce general Lu Zhuan. The maids quickly lowered their head and complied. However at the other side, in the residence of the Prime Minister, Yi Furin was also talking to Master Yi about this matter. Yi Furin was playing chess with Master Yi. Yi Mao Chun and Lu Zhenzhuan were completely different. Lu Zhenzhuan was a typical martial practitioner and with one glance, one could tell that he grew up fighting with others. His eyebrows were suffocating and he had a fierce appearance that even little kids would cry due to fright. Yi Mao Chun had a fair appearance and also looked harmless but had a scholarly appearance. However this prime minister could make the officials in Long Yi dared not act rashly towards despite having a lack of descendants. Even Emperor Yongle dared not shed all pretense of cordiality. Thus he was not as harmless as he appeared to be. Yi Furin placed a chess piece down and smiled. This residence of Prince Rui is like a iron bucket. Currently there are no news and one do not know what is the situation with Prince Rui. I cannot eat properly or sleep properly. It is really frustrating. Don't Furin already have a plan in your heart? Why still worry about it? Yi Mao Chun smiled and followed by placing a chess piece down. Yi Furin looked at him with blame. She was not a dainty 20 years old female thus it was somewhat uncomfortable for her to put up such an act. Yi Furin did not notice it and place another chess piece down and said, No news means bad news. Prince Rui is such a show off so if he could see other, he would definitely come out. For him not to appear after so long. It is most likely he is unable to do so. Yi Mao Chun smiled, perhaps it is to confuse others. Master is underestimating this key and teasing this key. Yi Furin said, this is definitely not a lie. Oh, why is it so? Yi Furin looked at the chessboard and said, one do not know about the residence of Prince Rui's end but the emperor did not hit it. Isn't he currently starting to deal with the Lu family? Seeing how heavy the emperor's hands are. Prince Rui's injuries are not light. Yi Mao Chun laughed out happily, so Furin can see things so clearly. I am clearly embarrassed that Furin is able to see clearly the matters of court. Then why not Furin guess what do I plan to do? Yi Furin lowered her head and laughed. This is difficult to say, one has to see what happens to Prince Rui. See that Yi Mao Chun did not deny it. Yi Furin felt that she had spoken correctly and continued. The Emperor and the Lu family had been playing with one another for so many years and these days even want to pull our Yi family in but we are not fools. How would one be used as rafts? When the Sandpiper and Clam war together, it is the fisherman that catches both, so just let the Emperor and Lu family fight. Previously Prince Rui was present so we sided the Emperor and is happy to be good to the Emperor but if this time Prince Rui is unable to escape from this, the Emperor is alone and the world will still be controlled by the Lu family. It is only one Prince Rui. How is that incredulous as you said? Yi Mao Chun smiled lightly. Prince Rui is a powerful person. Yi Furin smiled too. Dun Master also feels so. Yi Mao Chun paused his chess movement as for a bit and looked at Yi Furin meaningfully. Yi Furin seems to always be able to guess my heart. However does Furin think that Prince Rui can escape this calamity? Yi Furin thought for a long time and said five words, actually four words in original text, difficult to avoid this calamity. Yi Mao Chun looked at her. Does Master still remember two years ago when Prince Rui returned to Long Yi? At that time he was seriously injured. The Emperor was able to hide it from Mother was unable to conceal it from us. At that time one had though that Prince Rui would lack the strength to reverse the situation but one did not know what good fortune he had gotten and survived it. Afterwards he used his own power to mess up the situation in court. Yi Furin smiled. But one would not be that lucky twice. The last time it was the gods that protected him but this time, who would be protecting him? From the beginning it was already destined that Prince Rui would not have any future. One can escape two years ago but unable to escape two years later. Really? Yi Mao Chun quickly followed Yi Furin and placed a chess piece down. I however thought the exact opposite of you. Two years ago Prince Rui's medication was ineffective but at the end did not die so one's fate is already determined in the beginning. Prince Rui would definitely have a future, 
He had escaped two years ago and would definitely escape two years later. Yi Furin did not get angry when she heard of it but also did not rebut Yi Mao Chun. Let's wait and see. Yi Furin also laughed and placed the last chess piece down. Furin seemed to have lost. Yi Furin took a look. It was really the case and thus she said in a spoiled manner. It is not right for Master to talk to Ki when playing chess. One round again. However Yi Mao Chun shook his head and smiled. Another day. Today one will be testing Hong Wang's homework and it is almost time. Yi Fur quickly said. Then may Master leave first. Hong Huang's homework is important. Yi Mao Chun got up and leave. When Yi Furin saw Master Yi leaving figure, her expression gradually became cold and very ugly and her mouth became sharper, only a cripple. So what if one has great erudition and knowledge, one only can hide in the residence for one's another life. She felt indignant and unable to calm herself down thus she swept the chess pieces onto the floor and said lowly. Exactly the same as that fox vixen. The maids that were serving in the room dared not move as everyone knew that Yi Furin disliked that young master Yi the most. Yi Hongguang was born from that concubine and raised under Yi Furin's name but was an unhealthy Di son, Yi family only descendant. The morning light was so weak that when it shines through the branches and onto the ground, it was only a few threads of silver, making it look good. In the dark night, this small little silver sunlight drove away the darkness. Even though it was only a few, it was gratifying to one's heart. Who is Xiang and Ba Zhao stopped and turned around to support Shen Miao and Lu Tan who still had their eyes blindfolded, before saying to Shen Miao, Furin, the skies have brightened. If one did not see it personally, Who is Xiang and the few of them would not have thought that Shen Miao, a high-born young lady, could actually walk the entire night in an uninhabited forest with them. Who is Xiang had been spayishly trained and would not feel tired but Lu Dan, who had martial arts foundation, was already so tired that the word sleepiness was written on her face, but Shen Miao was still wide awake and clear-minded. Who is Xiang and Kong Yang were whispering in their hearts. Could it be that this Furin also practiced martial arts so she had such a strong willpower? In fact, they were thinking too much. It was just that when Shen Miao was in the cold palace, my Furin and other concubines would find trouble for her. Situations where one threw stones when one was down, were not uncommon in the palace so when she washed clothes at night, she would need to wash throughout the entire night. Moreover the situation was currently urgent and she wholeheartedly want to get out of the forest, so how could she worry about being sleepy? How long have we walked? Shen Miao asked, replying to Furin. Kong Yang said, after walking for a night, we have walked very far but based on the markings that was left behind, one had not seen the second marking so we are not walking in rounds. He then said, the concept of masking one eyes is indeed good. It seems that we were conceived by our own eyes. But these forests looked exactly the same as before. Lu Tan was already powerless. Continue walking. Shen Miao said, one have already walked this far, the end point can be reached. Hu Xiang was startled a bit and did not say anything this time. During the night, they had tried a few time to get Shen Miao to stop but not only Shen Miao did not listen to them, she seemed to be annoyed by it and scolded them. It was them, from Mo Yun army, which was used to be unbridled was actually behaving like mouse that saw a cat after being scolded by Shen Miao, who as Xiang and Kong Yang were bewildered in their heart. This Furin looked gentle and easy to speak with but once she gets angry, why was she so scary? Even Empress Xianda in the palace would not be that scary and imposing. The few of them continued following behind Shen Miao. Lu Dan was somewhat dispirited. No matter how much martial arts skill she practiced, it could not be compared to Hua Xiang and the rest and was not like Shen Miao who had experienced hardship so she was currently stubbornly pushing forward and widen her eyes to find something to distract herself. With such an action, she discovered that there was something unusual. She pulled Shen Miao, there are flowers here. During the journey just now, one did not see any flowers at all. Everyone was stunned and came over to look. Indeed so, there were small flowers at the bushes and one would not notice if they did not pay any attention. Mo King suddenly frowned, 
It seems that there are chickens calling, who is Shi Yang, Ba Zhao and Kong Yang had higher martial arts skills and they perked up their ears to listen and finally said, that is correct, how would there be chickens calling? Shin Miao muttered to herself, could it be that there is a house in front? She then continued, stop looking and let's walk, since there are sounds, then the exit is nearby, we will soon be able to get out of this forest. When everyone heard that they would be walking out of this forest, their fighting spirits were up and they immediately regroup. This time their luck was good and after walking half an incense, modern timing, 15 minutes, they felt that the tree branches were getting thicker and the forest were not as dense as before. More sunlight started shining in and it made one feel comfortable. It seems that one would really be able to get out. Loot and sleepiness was swept away by the excitement, let's walk faster. Before her voice lands, she saw the end of the forest and there was a path. Everyone looked at one another while Shen Miao took the lead and walk on it. Walking along the road, there was a garden at the end and even though it was a garden, there were flowers and vegetables that was planted. Even though it was a messy arrangement, it was planted by someone who did not maintain it well. Thus the plants grew wildly and it became a mess. However despite this, there was a house behind it. The house was built from thatched and it was crumbling, as if the roof could be blown away by the wind. As everyone went forward, Ba Zhao ran in and came out shaking her head, Furen. There is no one inside. A trace of disappointment appeared in Lu Tan's eyes, how can there be no one? This was very different from what they had imagined. They had not expected that the place where a superior one was staying would be this dilapidated. It was discouraging that there was no one around at all. Shin Miao said, the plants are still here and it does not look like there would not be anyone. Wait here then, someone would appear. Before the voice landed, one heard a broken voice. Oh, a noble guest has arrived, deeply welcome your presence, deeply welcome your presence. Everyone turned back together. Shin Miao saw that person's face and could not help but be startled as her voice cracked up. It is you, Ba Zhao asked, Furin is acquainted? That smelling middle-aged man who was clad in a tattered Taoist priest robes and this was exactly the person that accepted Shen Miao's golden peanut at Ming Chi's Puchio Monastery and said that even though a phonix's destiny is good, it is a pity to be in prison for a lifetime. This was the Taoist priest that also made a divination that the past is like a dream, avoid entanglement and out of the depths of misfortune comes bliss, the auspicious portent. Direct translation from Chinese is purple cloud, comes from the east. 